hello you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nia Ling and we're back with another video and for the purpose of this video we're going to be putting on the cap but this goes on this side because I am now officially a high school graduate uh, okay but anyways as you know by the title already Today I'm going to be doing things, well a video of what graduates wish they knew before high school and I specifically asked everybody that I know that's graduated high school to tell me at least one thing that they wish they would have known before high school and I'm here to share that with you guys because I noticed every time I did post like a high school video like a lot of like people going into high school, people already in high school did watch it so I mean why not show you another one if you're going into high school and you're going to be a freshman or if you're already in high school then hopefully you find this video helpful so i'm gonna say like well, i'm gonna read what they said and i'm gonna like kind of explain it or give my point of view on it okay the first one well the first thing somebody said was i'm just reading off my laptop teachers don't put as much effort into teaching you the older you get that's uh i'm in the middle i feel like it more so is based off of the teacher because i remember my sophomore year we had a chemistry teacher and this was her first year teaching and she didn't want to be a teacher like she said that was just her job for like the moment as she looked for something else and she really didn't teach us like i'm sorry but like i'm somebody who loves science and i'm gonna major in biology when i go to college and it really sucked that I don't really know much about chemistry and I have to take chemistry classes and all because we had this teacher that just took a job for the money and not really because she wanted to work that way because senior year my pre-calc teacher Miss Rosa Del Rosario she was a great teacher like I honestly really learned from her and she actually did care about her job whereas freshman sophomore year there's always that one teacher that doesn't really care so if you learn it, you learn it. If you don't, you don't. And so, yeah, I don't really think it's the older you get. I just think I just think it's more so the teacher. So, yeah, if you feel like a teacher is not teaching you something, then either try to switch to a class where, you know, the teacher, where another teacher teaches the same topic, but um, they're a better teacher. Because, like, I had to take a chemistry region and I failed it because, like, I didn't know anything. But thank God I didn't need that region. I just took it to take it. But yeah, just, just go to a class where, you know, the teacher actually cares. The next one is that a group of people would talk about you just because you have something they don't or because they're jealous of you. Oh, well, that, that is a completely different topic. Clearly, we, we cover on all corners of high school. High school, you will, you will meet, in high school, you will meet a lot of real friends and you will meet a lot of fake friends that whole saying is oh the people you start high school with won't be the people you end high school with and that is a fact i started high school with a big 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 group of friends and i ended high school with my friend jate so and no let me not just say her but I, I made a lot of new friends senior year but i did not end high school with the same group of people that i started it with so i mean yeah that is kind of true and people are always going to talk about you regardless whether you're doing good they're going to talk about you whether you're doing bad they're going to talk about you whether you dress fly they're going to talk about you if you dress like a bum they're going to talk about you so honestly just do whatever you want to do wear whatever you want to wear talk to whoever you want to talk to because the high school people are going to talk about you regardless so just don't pay no mind to it the next one is always get on the teacher's good side um I mean, you don't have to be on it like, all right, maybe because I'm I'm interpreting that as like be a teacher's pet. You don't have to be a teacher's pet. You do want to stay on a teacher's good side though, because like when you need a recommendation letter your senior year, you can go to them. But like just just don't get on the teacher's bad side because if if you need like a little bit of extra time doing some work or handing some work in, if you need some help, they might not be all that willing to help you, or the help they give you is like is barely anything like just stay on the teacher's good side like don't be rude don't be disrespectful you know if you want to be a little class clown here today that's fine but like don't make it to a point where like it's starting to become a nuisance like that's it that's all i gotta say about that the next one is get included in clubs and high school activities because it boosts your resume for college that is such a fact 
and that is something that I wish I knew before I went into high school because going into high school like I played on the basketball team and that was it and I only played on the basketball team for like two or three years and when I was applying for college they was asking me questions like oh what clubs did you join what teams were you on and all I had to put was basketball and there was other people like oh yeah I was a part of NHS which is National Honor Society or like I joined the beekeeping club and I was on a dance team and stuff like that and I could not put none of that stuff on my college resume because I didn't do none of that and colleges do look at that to see how like how much you participate or get involved with your school so yeah I personally wish I knew that because if I did then I would have joined like way more things because some of them did seem interesting but like I just I was being boring I didn't want to do it or if I have friends that didn't want to do it then I just followed behind them and didn't do it and I wish that I personally would have joined because like the beekeeping club like I actually wanted to join that but I have no friends that want to join it with me and I really know anybody that was in that club so I just didn't join it but yeah that is a big important thing make sure you join some type of club some type of team and like try to do multiple things because like you get to know more people throughout the school and on top of that it looks good when you go into college like if they got to choose between you and one other person and y'all got the same grades, but you joined way more clubs, they're obviously going to choose you because you're up here and they're just right here. So yeah, join different clubs. Another thing somebody said that they wish they knew before high school is that all four years matter. Or at least mostly the first three years matter. But literally all four years matter. Coming into high school, you know, people did tell me like, oh yeah, if you slack off your freshman and sophomore year, it's okay. Just make sure you do good your junior year. No, 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 no. There is no slacking off. Yes, freshman year or like your first semester, you're probably adjusting to high school because you're not used to like changing so many different classes throughout the day. Whereas in middle school, you have like one class, one teacher, and you guys will like go to gym together, go to lunch together. Like you guys do everything with that one class. Where in high school, you're switching different classes, there's different people in every class. And so yeah, people always told me like, if you just slack off, it's okay, just do good your junior year, no. Try to do good each and every year. Like colleges do look at your junior year, but they also look at your sophomore and your freshman year and your first semester of senior year grades. And you want all of them to look good or like do good your first two years so that junior year when it does get a little bit harder, say if your grades drop just a little bit, it's not really affecting your average that much because if you're playing around your freshman and sophomore year and say your average is a 72 and then junior year comes which is really hard because you have to prepare for all these tests you're taking harder classes and your grades are not as high as you would like them to be your average just dropped down from a 72 to a 70 or to a 69 and typically when you're applying to colleges you need like an 85 average to get into like a decent college so yeah don't play around or slack off your freshman year like just try to do your best all four years like it looks nice if you're struggling your freshman year that's okay but make sure you do good your sophomore year and your junior year so colleges will look at your transcript and they'll be like okay coming in you know she was struggling or she was adjusting but then she definitely picked it up and she got used to it and now she's doing good so like don't just play around just because you feel like you have the time to play around no just just do good do your work join clubs and that's that another thing somebody said they wish they knew before coming into high school is that the seniors be preying on the freshmen this is so true now if you guys don't know what i'm talking about basically for all the girls watching this video when you go into high school all the senior boys are going to try to talk to you they're going to try to use you you know for certain things and just don't pay them no mind they're going to sell you a dream they're going to sell you a fantasy oh we're going to be together forever and you know when i graduate i'm gonna come pick you up from school or i'm gonna do this that and third do not listen to them don't listen to them because i remember my freshman year there was a lot of girls that were being used and passed around because they really thought that these senior boys liked them. Sweetie Pie, these boys are 18. Freshman year, you're just turning 14. Do you really think that they're going to be faithful to you? And they're four years older than you. And a lot of times, the seniors that are preying on you are left back, so they're 19, but 20 years old, or I even met somebody that was 21. So, just, just don't pay them no mind if you want to talk to them talk to them but don't give nothing up don't do anything stupid like 
don't pay attention to them because they they are literally using you and then even my senior year i had a friend that was just praying on the freshman and it was hilarious to me because like they were really falling for like oh my god he loves me he said he loves me he likes me and i'm like no 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 and nine times out of ten he probably has a senior girlfriend or a girlfriend outside the school and he's just using you to entertain him and make time pass by faster while he's here in school like just don't pay that no mind okay like don't just don't just don't the next thing somebody said they wish they knew before high school is that you do not need an advanced regents diploma now for anybody who doesn't know what an advanced regents diploma is basically it's like so to get a regular regents diploma you need to take english one math one science and two histories so you need five regents if i got that correct for an advanced regents diploma you need so you need the two history you need an english you need the language one which is basically you take a language regents and then yeah you need three maps so you take seven regents and like i was close to getting it but i didn't take the two math regions i didn't take geometry and i didn't take um trig but, um i still took a lot of regions because i took earth science i took living environment i took um i forgot what it is but I took like a lot of science regions for no reason like I took every science region you can think of and basically schools will tell you oh if you get an advanced regions diploma you know colleges want you you'll get into better colleges they make it sound like this big thing and trust me it is not don't believe that dream because I got into colleges with a regular regions diploma that some of my friends with advanced regions diplomas did not get into and like it's just because it makes the co it makes the high school look better so when people look at the high school or when the high school like is asking for funding they can say oh yeah um our students are doing really well they took all these extra tests they passed they graduated with advanced regions diploma the advanced regions diploma don't look no different from a regular regions diploma okay it's just a little sticker that's on it says advanced regions instead of just regions like they really will like have you take extra classes and extra tests just so that they can look better while you're stressed out and it, it's not even really helping you to be honest like i took like a lot of spanish thinking that i was gonna get this advanced regions diploma i took the freaking lote which is the language region and i passed it and then i realized like my older senior friends or people that already graduated told me like naomi you don't you don't need that like don't stress yourself out over that because it does not make you look any better like so I, that's why I didn't take the other two math regions that I needed for the advanced regions diploma because it was just like, it's literally a waste of time. Like they are wasting your time. They're just using you to make their school look better. So do not stress yourself with that. If they ever tell you some big dream, like, oh my God, when you graduate, you're gonna get this, that, that. you're not getting nothing, okay? You No college cares about that. They do not care about that. They just care about your grades and how active you are in high school, that's it. So do not stress yourself out open a little sticker on some regular diploma okay okay the next thing somebody said they wish they knew is that you do not need all those extra credits i graduated with 50 something credits or i think i hit 60. the point is you only need 44 credits to graduate you get 11 credits each year so sophomore year freshman year junior year senior year you need to get at least 11 credits coming into high school i already had credits for my middle school so like I had like two or four extra credits for math and science because I took regions in middle school that counted towards high school. But not every middle school does that. So if your school didn't do that, it's okay. Like you're fine. You're still going to be on track because um, a lot of people come in with no credits at all. Um, but yeah, take only the classes that you need. So if you see that your school is giving you like go online first see what credits you have because this on pupil path or scheduler it shows you a tracker of what you need and what you have and if you already completed everything that you need for a specific subject like art and music because you only need two credits and you have four years to get those two credits 
then don't take no extra classes with that like tell your guidance counselor look i already have all these credits please take me out of this class for my senior year i only needed two classes i only needed english and economics because i had all my credits for everything else but do you think that my school really only gave me two classes and i got to leave no the principle that we had was like we're gonna give you a full schedule and you're gonna take all these extra classes that you don't need you're gonna get all these extra credits that you don't need because we want to make ourselves look better and it's funny because the principal that we had my freshman year, he would literally only give seniors the classes they need and they get to go home. So I remember one person would come in for one class at like 12 and then they would leave at one o'clock. Imagine only having to go to school from 12 to one. Like, and then we got a new principal and she ruined everything. Like, I was really in school for a whole day when I only needed two classes. Like, it's so annoying. But at the end of the day, only take what you need. Like literally only take what you need. If you want to take something extra, then go ahead, be my guest. But if you don't want to and you don't need it, try your hardest to just get out of the class. Because the thing that sucks is I had classes that I didn't need and they gave homework, which means I was doing homework for a class that I didn't even need to be in. And I had to pass it with a good grade because if I didn't, I would it would bring my average down. So it was like, it, it's just really annoying. Like, only try to only take the classes that you need. You, colleges are not looking at all those extra credits. Like... They're just looking at the ones you need, your grades, and that's it. Like, don't stress yourself out trying to take all these credits, okay? There's no reason why I'm graduating with 60 credits. Like, there's no reason at all. Another thing a graduate said they wish they knew before high school is that freshman Friday is not real. Or at least at my school, it wasn't real. In a lot of other schools in the city, it wasn't a real thing. That's something that you really only see in movies. But I remember, like... Freshman Friday is basically the first Friday after school starts. Um, you're supposed to go and like bully the freshmen or stick their heads in toilets or whatever. And that did not happen at my school because I remember I made a senior friend really early on in my Spanish class and I asked and I was like, is freshman Friday a real thing? And she was like, no, but if you want me to do it to you, I will. And I was like, but anyways, yeah, it's not a real thing. A lot of people did stay home that day, I remember. But it's not a real thing. You do not have to be scared. Like, you really think that all the seniors are going to get away with bullying all the freshmen on the same day. Like, it's it's just, it's not a real thing. You do not have to worry about it. Don't stress yourself out about it. Don't be scared to go to school. Like, it's not real. Ain't nothing going to happen to you. Another thing a graduate said they wish they knew before high school is that there is no recess, okay? <laughs> I'm really surprised that I have to go over this. Like... In middle school, after lunch, you know, you get recess, you get to play, do whatever. In high school, there there's no recess, okay? You get lunch, and then you go back to class. There's no playing around, like, there's no none of that. You're, in their eyes, like, you're, you're an older kid now, like, you don't need all that. Even if you still feel like a kid, in the high school's eyes, you're not really that much of a kid anymore. Like, you're not getting no free play time or anything. If you do get free play time, it's in gym, and it counts towards your gym credit. But besides that... Yeah, there's, there, there's no playtime. Another thing graduates said they wish they knew before coming to high school is that word spreads around like wild fire. Okay, it spreads around like wildfire. If something in like, is, if you have like a personal secret that's like really embarrassing, you're better off just not telling anybody because you're going to tell your friend and tell them to keep it a secret and she's going to tell her best friend and tell her to keep it a secret and her best friend is going to tell somebody else and next thing you know the whole school is going to know what happened like just don't like there's so many times i heard stuff about people in my high school that i wasn't even friends with or people that i didn't even really know like i just saw them in the hallway and i knew so many things about them that they didn't even know that i knew because like word just spreads around like that that's just how that goes so, another thing a graduate said they wish they knew before high school is that every year you're going to be friends with different people and yeah i agree with this but like don't take it as the people you were friends with freshman year you're not going to be friends with any of them and then like every year you're just going to keep making new friends and getting rid of old friends no it's just that the same way you start with a big group of people freshman year sophomore year that circle is going to get a little bit smaller and you're probably going to make like one or two new friends because you're in a class with new people and then it's just going to keep going on like that like freshman year the people that i'm friends with now from my senior year freshman year i did not talk to any of them like i saw them but i didn't speak to them or like i thought they were weird and stuff like that and then senior year it's like it's so chill because everybody's about to graduate they know this is like the last time we're ever gonna really see each other 
and like we just started talking and I became friends with so many new people and like they're great they're amazing I love them and so yeah like you're gonna make a lot of new like even if you feel like you're done with school and like you know everybody every year you're gonna make friends with somebody new that you wasn't talking to the year before and the very final last thing that a graduate which is me I'm the graduate that I wish I knew before high school is that these four years are gonna fly by. There may be times where you feel like school is moving so slow or you're at a hard point and you hate high school and you're ready to graduate, but trust me, it feels like just yesterday I remember getting accepted into my high school and being excited and now I'm sitting here recording a video with a cap on my head and I done graduated. Like, these four years are really gonna fly by and I'm so excited for the next chapter in my life to start college, but like, high school really did flew by and I am going to miss it. Like junior sophomore year i'm not gonna miss those years i hated those years but senior year was so great that like i'm really gonna miss high school like it's different being in high school than being in college in college i'm gonna be in a dorm i'm gonna be away from my family and like it's gonna be a whole new world where high school like you see people every day they don't live too far from you you get to go home and then you travel to school the next day like it's just so different and like I'm gonna miss it and I wish I would have known how fast this year would have flown by because I really would have made the best of each and every day which I know that I didn't sometimes but yeah thank you for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you learned something and if you're going to high school congratulations I hope this video helped you to prepare you for high school if you have any other questions just put them in the comment sections and I'll answer you but make sure to like comment share subscribe turn on post notifications but mostly just subscribe because it's free and who don't like free stuff and you just got all of your tips and advice from an official 2019 high school graduate and I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. <laughs> Bye!